The Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, has backtracked on its earlier threat to use military force against a junta which seized power in a coup in Niger two weeks ago. Following an ECOWAS meeting which took place on Thursday, the chairperson of the regional body, Nigerian President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, said the bloc had resolved to engage the actors in the Niger coup. Mr. Tinubu said, and I quote, we must engage all parties involved, including the coup leaders, in earnest discussions to convince them to relinquish power and reinstate President Bazoum. It is our duty to exhaust all avenues of engagement to ensure a swift return to constitutional government, governance in Niger. More specifically, as leaders of our respective nations, we must recognize that the political crisis in Niger not only poses a threat to the stability of the nation, but also has far-reaching implications for the entire West African region. By remaining steadfast in our adherence to the principles of democracy, good governance, and the rule of law, we can restore peace, stability, and prosperity in the Republic of Niger, thereby fostering an environment of conducive, an environment conducive to growth and development for all. Close quote. ECOWAS' latest decision comes amid counter threats by Mali and Burkina Faso that they would back the military junta in Niger in the event of an ECOWAS attack. Meanwhile, the military council which took over power in Niger has declared a state of high alert after a French attack on a National Guard site and breached the country's airspace. Local media quoted the military council as saying the French army begged, the French army attacked a position of the armed forces to liberate its terrorist allies. It explained that the French army attacked a position of the National Guard in the Liptakokom area and freed 16 imprisoned terrorists. The military council in Niger accused France of violating closed airspace since Sunday, in light of Western and African countries threatening to intervene militarily in Niami in response to the dismissal of President Mohamed Bazoum, who was removed in a coup two weeks ago. Fears abound that the deposed president is running out of food and experiencing other increasingly dire conditions two weeks after he was ousted in a military coup and put under house arrest. The family of the deposed leader is said to be living without electricity and only has rice and canned foods left to eat. His political party issued a statement confirming the president's living conditions and said the family was also without running water. A few days ago, the military junta announced a prime, the appointment of a prime minister, Mr. Ali Mahaman Lamine Zaine and a cabinet of about 21 people.